Basically, I come in here every single day and I talk about my commitments and where I'm at and just different discoveries and realizations and attitudes and what I'm doing to make sure I stay on track. Like, for instance, I need to be kicking ass at work every day and I need to be working out every day. I need to be eating low carb every day. And I got this whole kind of what I'm doing every day thing that I'm excited about. So tomorrow the proof is in the pudding and I actually bought a pudding to use as a prop to say that today, but I don't know where I put it. Oh, my belly. But, um, yeah, tomorrow I get to get back to the whole work zone, and I'm excited. little, um, you know, anticipating a lot of craziness as I build up. I'll talk more about that tomorrow. My whole goal today was to check in and make sure I did my vlog and not digress and not do crazy editing. I've been all over the place today, keeping busy, getting everything organized because organization creates exponential productivity gain. And been snacking like crazy too because I haven't had a chance to sit down for a real meal. So I've been eating a lot of olives, which are pretty low carb. We got some black olives and we got some uh, Spanish olives with some blue cheese inside. So probably a little protein there or something. Somewhere a vodka martini is uh, missing its special ingredient. But um, that's it. One of the realizations I've come to this week with my vlogging and taking a look at the other 100 Day Video Challengers was Rick talked about taking time to celebrate the small accomplishments along the way. And myself, I had a hard time with this notion. I thought about it, and I've accepted it. But I think it has to come with a raising the bar every single time. Myself, I don't pause to celebrate the little accomplishments. Um, I like to celebrate the bigger ones. And I focus more on goal than the little parts along the journey. And I kind of respect how Rick looks at the journey on um, the way to get towards the goal. I don't know. Everyone's got things that work for them, so we learn from each other. And I'm excited. I'm, I'm feeling good about the fact that I'm keeping committed to what it is that I need to, and I'm seeing a little bit of progress. I'm trying not to beat myself up along the way, and that's something I tend to do in both these areas, in work as well as with workouts. And I get frustrated with myself if I'm not at goal yet, and I need to be at the attainment of life that I set for myself. And I set the goals high, and I set that bar higher and higher each and every time. And I don't necessarily feel good along the journey. I feel good when I know I'm going to hit the goal. And I'm trying to find ways to, well, be nicer to myself and maybe, in small ways, celebrate the little accomplishment. <laughs> I'm not going to go out and eat 10 ice cream on Sundays to celebrate. Like that's a way to celebrate. I guess it could be. Anyway, I'm not sure what celebrate means. For me, it meant taking a moment today and saying, dude, good work. You lost the five pounds. Now get your ass back to work because you got a lot of shit to do. And that was pretty much my celebration. And that's something to continue to celebrate during the 100 days. Although, I have little breaks embedded in here. Every Saturday, I could cheat a little bit on the low carb. And we um, got friend time, too, on so this coming Saturday. I'm excited. My buddy Wade's coming into town with his wife, Susan, who I've never met except virtually. And well, Wade, you know, we go way back. Uh, i got more stories. I'm digressing already. I have a lot to do to prepare for work tomorrow. I'm going to go grab another workout today because I really need it. And, uh... Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And keep watching the 100 Day. Hey, kitties.